Final Cut Pro 10 includes a number of tools. We've reviewed some of these in some of the, the previous videos. And in today's video, I wanna look at one of my favorite tools, which is the trim tool. Shortcut to get to it is the letter T. And the trim tool allows you to do some things that you can't do with the select tool. Just like any of the other tools, there's a reason this trim tool is here. But it also lets you do a lot of things that you can do with the select tool. But the trim tool is really useful for working in between clips. So without the trim tool selected, just with the, the normal select tool, you can see I can click and drag to extend a clip or shorten it and work in between these two clips. But if I select the trim tool, I'm just gonna press the letter T on the keyboard to switch to it, or you could use the tool drop-down menu. But with the trim tool, I could actually click and drag in between a clip to adjust where that transition happens. So I'm extending one clip and shortening the second just in one movement by using that trim tool. So that's a, a one really useful feature with the trim tool. Um, you can also, if we click, I'm just clicking anywhere in the gray area, by the way, to unselect the, uh, the transition point there. So if you have one selected, just click anywhere out to unselect it. But you can go in on the left or the right side of a clip, and you'll see as you get right to the edge, you're on the edge and you can just click and drag that part to extend or shorten the transition or the length of those clips. So that's one way to use the uh, trim tool here. And if you have a transition in between a clip, so I'm doing Command T to add the default transition here. Let me use Command Plus to zoom in. Uh, I can go at the top here and I can actually do some of the trim tool stuff by moving that transition, uh, adjusting the position by extending or shortening a clip. But if I select the trim tool, I can now do that anywhere on this clip. So I can actually move where the transition is happening. Let me do Shift Z and zoom out so you can see this. Notice our second clip here in our first clip, if I click and drag, it's moving the transition in, and in one movement, it's extending the second clip and shortening the first one if I'm moving it to the left. Or if I drag this to the right, in moving the transition, it's extending the first clip and shortening the second clip. So very cool to be able to use the trim tool to quickly move transition points around. Let me show this with some video. So I'm gonna go up and select a, a couple clips here so you can see uh, visually what happens when you're working with video. So let's add down this clip where I'm walking up the hill super sweaty because it was like 110 degrees on this day it was ridiculous so we've added that first clip and then let me add this second clip here or run it down add that one in switch to the blade tool let's delete that out okay so now with the transition tool selected i'm going to click and drag the transition point again and again you can see it's shortening the first clip and extending the second clip and that's what it's doing there but i can do this inside of the clip so this clip here, let me shorten this one too, actually, I want to shorten that. So in this clip, I have the camera set up in some bushes here, and when I come through, I run down the hill here, and I run past the camera. But notice, if I just scrub across this clip, if I skim across it, we're not seeing myself anywhere in that clip. So I'm actually going to use the trim tool, just hitting the letter T, to activate the trim tool, and I'm going to click and drag across the tool. And what I'm seeing in the viewer is two videos. You can see on the left side, we see the plant. And on the right side, I can see there I am running down the hill. And what this is representing is the first and last frame of the clip. So I actually want to keep moving this over to the left side here until I see myself on that first frame start to run down. So you can see I'm coming to frame. Let's go right about there. So what that means now and I let go to apply that, is now when I play this clip, let me hit the space bar. Actually, let me mute this so I can talk over it while it's happening. So when I play this, what you'll see is now right when we cut to the clip, there I am starting to run down the clip, and I run past the camera, right? So that was all done with the trim tool by adjusting the position of that uh, clip. And, and, and give you an idea of what this is doing, the other way I could have done that would have been to extend the clip and then shorten the beginning of it and extend it and shorten it until I get just the part of the clip that I wanted uh, visual. But instead, just hit the trim tool, activate it with T, 
click and drag, and then we can drag around on the clip until we see the content that we want to see at both the beginning and the end frames. And we see that going down. So that's uh, using the trim tool to uh, add in and, and kind of move around the transition points, the edit points, both the ins and the outs. You can do that all using that trim tool. Um, let me switch back to the select tool really quickly. Let's add a transition here. Um, the other part of it, like any tool, I've, I've said this with all the other ones, but instead of just clicking the letter T to activate the trim tool and then pressing the A key to switch back to the select or arrow tool, you can temporarily activate the trim tool uh, by holding the T key down. So if I know I want to adjust this position, I could click and drag that over. And then when I let go of the letter T, notice it switches back to the select tool. So again, hold the letter for the tool to activate it, make your adjustment in the position, and then when you're done, let go of that T key and it'll switch back to the select tool uh, or whatever tool you had selected previously. So that's the trim tool. I know it's a little bit confusing in my quick demo here to, to show exactly what it's doing, but try it out on your own projects. Instead of uh, like clicking and dragging a uh, transition point here with the transition deleted, try adjusting these edit points on your own projects using the trim tool. And what you'll find is it, it actually becomes very intuitive as you get used to using this and the viewer to see what's uh, happening. What else do you want to know? Leave a comment below. Uh, th hit a thumbs up if you like this video and subscribe so that you can see what else comes uh, in the future. Thanks, everyone.